Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Hazen Union for today's Division Three basketball clash between the Lady Wildcats of Hazen and the Spartans of Winooski. Hazen comes in ranked number two in the state at seven and one. Winooski's 0 and six, so on paper, Hazen should uh, come out of this one with a victory, but that's why they play him on the floor. Here's the tap, Winooski controls. Down in the half court, they get it back. That's an, uh, I can't see your number. That is Sanai stewart McIver with a three attempt. Here comes Hazen, Alexa Christensen drives down the baseline, puts it up one-hander, no good. Rebound out of bounds off Winooski, it'll be Hazen's ball. So Hazen starting Tess Luther, Alexis Christensen, Caitlin Davison, Ella Gillespie, and Haley Mitchard. Christensen gets ready to inbound it, gets it into Mitchard. Posting up, up high with a shot, no good, gets a rebound, puts it up left-handed and gets it to fall. Haley Mitchard draws first blood for the Wildcats. Hazen in a man-to-man -man press, here comes Winooski. Way high pass intended over there for uh, Gene Heinz, but overhead no good and Hazen will come back right back at him with the ball. Luther's going to inbound it to Caitlin Davison. Winooski in a little 2-1-2 zone press. Oh, and Hazen throws it away. So both teams come out pressing. Winooski with a zone press. Hazen in there man-to-man. -man. So now Hazen will pick him up at half court. And that's Stewart with the ball from Winooski. Gets it over to MacGyver down in the corner. That's Trong, stolen by Caitlin Davison. She gets it up to Luther. Luther loses control, puts it up though. No good, rebound followed up by, oh, no good off the high rebound. Hazen with another rebound and they get it. And that is uh, Gillespie with the rebound. Ella Gillespie, so Hazen on top, four to nothing. Just underway here. Long pass underneath intended for Hines. Gets it back out to Stewart. Stewart loses it. Gillespie with the ball, gets it to Davison. Hazen looking to run, here comes Caitlin Davison. Gets it back to the middle, over to the sideline, picked off by Christensen. Christensen down in the corner, Gillespie inside to Haley Mitchard, back outside. This is Tess Luther with a three, no good. Rebound controlled by Winooski, but they lose it out of bounds. It'll be Hazen's ball. So Hazen off quick here with a four nothing lead against Winooski. Winooski comes in at 0-6, looking for their first win. Christensen's going to rebound it. I mean, inbound it. Gets it to Davison. Davison comes left. Back to Christensen. Sets a wide open three. Couldn't hit it, though. Haley Mitchell with a rebound. Fighting for it. Oh, going to call for a jump ball. And that should be Hazen's ball. So it looks like they're going underneath to Haley Mitchell early this game. Looking for some post up moves. So Christensen going to inbound it. There's a screen. Here comes Caitlin Davison. Way out on top is Luther. Luther sets up. Oh, fakes a three, drives left, stops. Bounces it into Mitchard. Gets it back out on top to Davison. Over on the wing, Christensen. Corner, Gillespie. Three ball, no good. Follows a shot, though, and they're going to have another jump ball, and that's going to be Winooski's possession. <clears throat> so Hazen with two or three good looks at the basket. Couldn't capitalize. And here we go with Hazen's man-to-man -man press. They get it into Gene Heinz. Heinz. Back over to MacGyver. MacGyver brings it up, guarded by Haley Mitchard. There's a screen, dribbles over to the right wing, still has the ball but loses it. Picked off by Christensen. Christensen running the court, takes it to the middle, hits Gillespie, drives hard, puts it up. Oh, rolls off the rim, couldn't get it to fall. And that is Bridget Rogers for Winooski with the rebound. Gets it over to Stewart. Stewart almost lost it out of bounds. Gets control. Drives back to the right side. Right down the lane. Puts up a floater off the glass. No good. Rebound controlled. Got another jump ball. Two players from Hazen had it and one player from Winooski. But Hazen's going to get possession of this one. So Luther will inbound it. Ooh, Hazen, uh, Winooski in a 1-2-1-1 zone press. They move it up the sideline. They got numbers over underneath to Haley Mitchard. Puts it up. No good. She gets a rebound though. Puts that in. So Haley Mitchard scores again. That's four for her. Winooski driving no good. That was by Stacy Trong as they quickly went up court. And let's see who the foul's on. That is Haley Mitchard. Haley's first. 
We got a sub in for Wanuski. Must be she's coming in for the shooter. And it looks like Ashlyn Paris will be coming in for Winooski. Shot up, and Winooski's on the board. That free throw by Stacy Strong. Makes a score six to one, just underway here in the first quarter. Here comes Christensen. Gillespie, down to Mitchard, lays it up, no good, but gets her rebound, puts that in. <clears throat> so Haley Mitchard leading the way here. Hazen pressing now. They got Winooski trapped on the sideline, guarded by Davison. Long cross court pass, picked off by Christensen. She goes, oh, she faked the pass, put it up, no good. Rebound fought for, controlled by Hines of Winooski. She gets it up to Stewart. Stewart guarded by Davison. Davison gets her hand on the ball, oh, picked up by Christian, hands it off to Davison. Davison looking, looks like she's going to go all the way, and she does, puts it up. Oh, can't get it to go, though. A little contested layup, rebound by Winooski. And here comes Bridget Rogers. Rogers running it down the court. One on three. She doesn't really have numbers. Stops and loses the handle. Picked off by Christensen again. Over to Luther. Luther settles it down. Here we go. Davison, long three, round and out. No good. Rebound in there by Paris. Paris brings it up herself for Winooski. Stutter step, dribbles, goes down the middle, puts up a floater off the glass, no good. Rebound by Gillespie, hands it off to Davison. Here comes the Cats, they got numbers, three on two. They go over to Tess Luther, bounce pass to Christensen, up and in. Textbook style fast break, Winooski coach has seen enough. He calls timeout with a score, 355 left to go in the first quarter. It's your Lady Wildcats, 10, and the Winooski Spartans, one. I want to take this opportunity to thank our sponsors, Buffalo Mountain Power Sports at 472-5522. We support Hazen Athletics and Green Mountain Technology and Career Center, also known as GMTCC. Jumpstart your future. And just to let everybody know, applications are now open for any GMTCC programs. Just call them and get a list. <clears throat> so Hazen out quickly. Now, if you're not used to hearing this voice, um, I had to do the announcement so I didn't get up here in time to give a big pregame thing. But John Lucier subbing for Lance Hall today. Lance couldn't make it. Appreciate the opportunity to be here. And the Lady Wildcats come out. They're on a 10 to one run here. Winooski to inbound it. <clears throat> they get it over there to Hines on the sideline. Hazen in the press, controlling it. Oh, out of bounds. It's gonna be, it was tipped by Davison. So it's gonna be Winooski's ball. So Hazen coming up with a few steals off of that press and it quickly jumped out to a nine point lead. Looks like they're gonna go deep. Oh, they hit Hines, it goes off her foot. Oh, she lets it roll out of bounds. It'll be Hazen's ball. They had the play beat deep, but she couldn't control it. So here's Winooski in there, one, two, one, one. Quickly Hazen up court to Christensen, comes down the middle, looks like it's three on one to Mitchard. Mitchard back out on top to Davison. Davison drives to the foul line, puts up a floater and it's good. Caitlin Davison makes it 12 to one. Here comes Winooski, they're under pressure. Scrum on the floor. Caitlin Davison and Atea Stewart. Jump ball, Winooski still controlling. So Hazen's pressure is definitely bothering Winooski. <coughs> they get it to Hines on the sideline. Back over to McIver. Oh, they almost call the foul. Back to Hines on the sideline. She looks up, she's guarded by way underneath. And she tried to go underneath to number 11, Faith White, who's in the game. She lost it out of bounds. So it'll be the Wildcat basketball. Here comes Davison looking to dribble. Oh, has the throw picked off? No, she recovers it. Oh, see, we we're going to call a block. That foul will be on Jean Hines as she uh, got in the way of Caitlin Davison trying to recover the ball. And in the game now, we have Julia DeGrosier. She comes in for Haley Mitchard, who gets a well-deserved rest. I think Haley's got eight of the first 12 points. <coughs> Caitlin Davison, Winooski matching up man-to-man -man now. Oh, they tried to do a backdoor, and Julia DeGrosier threw it out of bounds. So it'll be Winooski's ball. DeGrosier, just a freshman. Hazen with an actual, you know, even though they're seven and one, they got a very young squad. They only got three seniors. Got two freshmen on the team. Here comes Winooski. That is Natea Stewart. She tries to feed it inside. Picked off by 
Julia to Girls Lear. She gets it to Christensen. Christian settles, comes up court, gives it to Davison. Davison looking, looking at top, trying to set something up. Gets it over here to Gillespie. Gillespie out on top to Luther. Over to Caitlin Davison. She fakes a three, drives around, bounce pass it underneath to Julia de Grosier and lays it in. Nice play by Caitlin Davison and a good finish by the freshman. Oh, that ball picked off on the press by Alexis Christensen. She misses it, but Caitlin Davison, oh, she missed a wide open layup. Now we're going to have a foul as the Winooski girl came in and cleaned them out. 24, I believe. That's on Ashlyn Paris, so it's going to be Hazen's ball, but Hazen missed two open layups there, a little anxious. But with 2.32 to go here in the first period, Hazen's on top, 14-1, to one, showing why they're ranked number two. They get it to Caitlin Davison. She sets up, fires a three, bounces up, no good. Rebound in there by Julia, and it's a jump ball. It's going to be Hazen's ball. Julia DeGrosier hitting the boards pretty hard there. For a freshman, does a good job. Here comes the screens. Way out on top, there's Tess Luther. Back to Gillespie, inside to Caitlin Davison. She fakes left, comes back out to Gillespie. Gillespie spots up, puts it up, no good. Rebound controlled by Alexis Christensen. Gets it to Davison, way out on top to Luther. Luther spots up, three ball, no good. Recovered by Hazen, Hazen on the rebounds. Christensen, now they got it over to Davison. Ooh, a reach in by Winooski. But just went out of bounds, going to be Hazen's ball. So Hazen with their fourth attempt on this uh, possession, looking to capitalize here. Oh, Caitlin Davison's wide open in the corner. They just give it to her. Back to Christensen. She's going to try her luck. No good. Oh, it hit the cable up on top. So it's going to be out of bounds, Winooski's ball. So Ashlyn Paris for Winooski is going to inbound it. Minute 59 left to go here in the first quarter. Here comes Hines up the sideline, picks up her dribble, gets it back. Over to Paris. Paris goes right by Davison. All the way to the corner. Gives it to Hines. Picks up her dribble. Oh, inside to number five. That was uh, Stacy Trong, but she had her pocket picked. And here comes Tess Luther for the Wildcats. Gets it over to Gillespie. Looking to spot it up, but she didn't. Davison, wide open three. No good. Hazen a little bit off with her shooting tonight. Oh, picked off there. Christensen puts up a floater, and that one's good on the steal. Hazen up 16-1. to one. Winooski trying to break the press. Oh, Trong loses it. No, picks it up, but it's out of bounds. Wait, it's going to be Hazen's ball. So Hazen's pressure really bothered him. Alexis Christian inbound it. She calls play. Gets it over to Davison in the corner. They leave her open. She, she passes it up, and they're going to call Ashlyn Paris for a foul. That's going to be her second, and the team's third. Hazen with only one foul. Here comes Haley Mitchard back in for Julia. The girls there. Tess Luther gets it over to Alexis Christensen. Back to Tess Luther. She spots up. Three ball on the way. Oh, in and out. Off the backboard. Couldn't get it to go. Oh, and Ella Gillespie with the rebound. Went back up and got hacked from behind. She's going to go to the line to shoot, too. And that foul is going to be on Natea Stewart, it's her first. So Ella Gillespie, senior. First one's up, she knocks it down, 17 to one now. So Hazen really showing dominance in two areas, number one on the press and number two on the boards. Gillespie with her second attempt, and that one's good. She looks pretty confident out there on the line. 18 to one now as we wind down the first quarter. They get it inbound to Faith White. She, oh, she has it picked by Davison, who feeds Christensen a little bit high. Back out to Gillespie. They set it up. Luther, Davison, fakes a three, tries to drive, can't. Gillespie, Christensen, wide open, three ball. Oh, off the rim, no good. Rebound fought for. And here comes um, Paris out of the pack with, for Winooski. Gets it over to Stewart. Stewart bringing it up. Tried to go underneath, picked off by Gillespie. Hazen with the steals, not allowing Winooski to get that ball underneath. Oh, down to Christensen, nice pass. Oh, wow, no foul. And there's the foul. Great passing by Hazen. That was a great pass by Alexis Christensen to Luther. She actually kind of got fouled the first time, but she definitely got fouled the second time. So Luther, only a junior, she's going to go to the line. 
Try to shoot two here. First one's on its way, back rims. In the game now, we have Muthe two for Winooski. As Jean Heinz had to leave with her second foul. Luther's second one's on the way, that one's better. Makes it 19 to one with 35 seconds to go. Winooski inbounds it, they get it inside to Stewart. Stewart coming up court. Goes over there to Rogers. Rogers underneath. That shot up and out by uh, Faith White. No good. Here comes Hazen. Christensen goes in, lays it up, and that one's good. Hazen on the fast break, 21 to 1. Hazen on their press. They go cross court over here to White. Back here to Paris. Paris beats the press, stops. That shot, oh, no good by Bridget Rogers. Rebound by Gillespie, and there's a buzzer, and that ends the first quarter. And your Hazen Union Lady Wildcats with a very strong start, dominating the boards and using their press for a lot of steals. They lead the Winooski Spartans 21 to 1. I just want to make an announcement that the Knights of Columbus will have their free throw contest starting back this year again on January 29th, right here at Hazen. Shooting starts at 1 o'clock. Come and register starting at 12.30. And if you don't get the forms at schools to pre-register, you can come anyways. We'll have forms here. Ages 9 through 14, boys and girls. So that's January 29th right here at Hazen on Sunday. Again, I want to thank our sponsors, Buffalo Mountain Power Sports, 472-5522. We support Hazen Athletics and Green Mountain Technology and Career Center, GMTCC. Jumpstart your future, and they are now accepting applications for any GMTCC programs, and they do have quite a list. So if you have any interest at all, give them a call. So in the game for Hazen now, start the second quarter, we have Mitchard, Luther, Gillespie, Davison, and Sarah Collier. Sarah Collier, Jr. It'll be Winooski's ball to inbound it. Stuart McIver is going to inbound it. She gets it into Stuart. Call a play. Hazen playing the zone now. Shot. Oh, nice shot there. Turn around by Mute, Muthe 2. Okay. Randy immediately calls timeout. Didn't like what he saw. He wants to make an adjustment. That basket by Winooski made the score 21 to 3 in favor of Hazen. Coach Randy Lumsden knows that you just can't run through an opponent like this. You have to do things right because there's going to be some nights when you're really going to have to do things right. And a lot of times coaches will tell you they're harder on a team when you have a big lead because they don't want them to just get slack and forget what they're supposed to do. So Winooski comes out in a 1-2-2 two, two half court zone. They get it to Gillespie in the corner. Oh, on a give and go to Caitlin Davison. It's out of bounds, knocked out of bounds by Winooski. So it'll be Hazen's ball. Sarah Collier is going to inbound it. Gets it into Davison. <coughs> out on top to Luther. Luther looking back to Collier. Collier looking, looking, nothing there, nothing there. Dribbles left, gets it over to Gillespie out on top. She comes back right, back to Collier. Looking, Gillespie in the corner. They get it into Mitchard. Mitchard, wrong angle. Oh, had a tough angle, almost got it to go. But she's going to go to the line. Haley Mitchard posting up very well today. Causing some problems for Winooski in there. So Haley Mitchard, a senior. In the program, she is uh, number 33, but she's wearing number 30 today. Mitchard with her first one off the back rim, over the side, no good. Getting ready to shoot her second one. We'll see if Hazen stays in the press. Second one looks better, but it's still off the back rim. Rebound by Winooski. That is Stewart. Stewart bringing it up quickly for Winooski. Hazen in a 1-2-2 zone. Shot there by Trong. Uh, Bridget Rogers, excuse me, that rebound by Stewart. Oh, they get it inside to Faith White, but she lost it. Picked up by Davison. Here comes Davison, quickly up court to Luther on the left wing. Back out on top, Davison, back to Luther. 
Luther looking up, bounces it in the corner to Davison. She wants to go inside to Haley Mitchard. She does. Haley pivots, puts it up. No good. Rebound in there by MacGyver. Stewart MacGyver. Over to Taylor Stewart. Shoots on the run. No good. Rebound controlled in there by Caitlin Davison. And here come the Lady Wildcats. Davison brings it down the middle. Looking up. Passes it to Gillespie. Gillespie over here on the right wing. Collier. Baseline. Gillespie looking inside. Nothing there. Over to Davison. Luther. Inside to Mitchard. Mitchard stops. Back out on top. Sarah Collier. Luther. Davison. Three ball from the corner. No. Bounce. Oh. Did everything but go in. Hit the rim three times, but bounced out. So here comes Bridget Rogers. Out on top to Stuart McIver for Winooski. She drives right down the sideline. Stops, puts up a one-hander off the glass. No good. Almost, oh. A little collision there underneath, but they're going to give the ball to Hazen. So in the game now, we have Bailey Christensen. And Julia DeGrosier. So Davison, Bailey Christensen, Julia DeGrosier, Sarah Collier, and Ella Gillespie. Collier out on top of Davison. Hazen working it around against his own. Whoops. Let's get a play. Davison hustling on the floor. Bailey, call, uh, Bailey Christensen saves it. Out on top to Gillespie. Caitlin Davison. Oh, drives right around. Oh, blocked. Nice move by Caitlin Davison. She got around two defenders on the baseline, but number 15, Mu Thay Tu, came in and with some help defense and uh, blocked it, but it's going to be Hazen's ball out of bounds. Alexis Christensen back in the game for her sister. Inbounds it. Gillespie in the corner. Stops. They go into Julia. The girls here. Back out on top. Collier. Oh, Hazen moving the ball around quickly. Christensen. Sarah Collier. Christensen, Davison, Gillespie. Davison in the corner, back to Gillespie. Christensen, Collier, Hazen moving the ball well, getting the deep. They're going to get an open shot here. And there it is, but it's short. You can see that. Didn't hit anything by Alexis Christensen. They get it up court by uh, Natea Stewart as she drove the lane, and she gets fouled, as that's probably the first time Winooski's beat Hazen down the court. And that fouls on Sarah Collier, her first. That's a team second. Winooski with six fouls. So the next foul by Winooski and Hazen will be shooting one and one. So Natalia Stewart's first one is good. <laughs> Stewart with her second one. Looking to cut the lead to 16. Second one is short. No good. Rebound fought for. Controlled on the floor. Still loose ball. Winooski comes up with it. Um, Isabel Gowan, who's just in the game, and she's a freshman. So Hazen right now with two freshmen, two juniors, and a senior in the game. Isabel Gowan, just off the bench, came up with that jump ball. In the corner, there's Isabel. Brings it out. Nice, moves it out on top to Christensen, to Collier, looking, Hazen really moving well here. There's Christensen in the corner, back out on top to Collier. Corner, Collier looking, gets it over to Gowan. Bounce pass into Davison, uh, to Julia. Davison drives in, nothing there. Hazen moving the ball well, Collier, Gillespie. There's a cutter, Julia, there's a shot. Sarah Collier with a shot, no good. Had a wide open shot though, Hazen moving the ball well. But they recover the rebound. There's Davison, dribbles left, gets it over to Isabel Gowan, comes right, back left, towards the baseline. Davison inside the, the girls' ear. She stops, fakes, puts it up, and it's good. Julia the girls' ear, freshman. Nice post move, lays that in. Good entry pass by Davison, makes it 23-4. to four. Ball picked off by Davison. Here we go, fast break. There goes Collier. She's going to, oh, call her for an offensive rebound. I mean offensive rebound, offensive foul. Wow. So 4.03 left to go here in the first quarter. Hazen on top, 23 to four. They're back in their press, man to man, looking to trap. There's a long pass. It goes up to Faith White. She puts up a Hail Mary, whoa, a long three. And that baby was good. Another nice shot, makes it 23 to seven. Hazen, Christensen, Gowan, bounce pass to Julia. Out on top to Davison, back to Collier, looking, looking for cutters. Davison in the corner. 
Collier on top, Christensen, Gowan looking inside, nothing there. There's a pass to Davison. Comes right, dribble, stops back behind the three point line, puts it up, no good, missed everything. Hazen a little bit off with their outside shooting tonight, still leading 23 to seven. Winooski with the ball, there goes Faith White over on the wing. Oh, back out on top to Bridget Rogers, and that's gonna be backcourt. This ball went over her head. She was the first one to touch it. Good thing she did, because better off to give Hazen the ball out of bounds than you are to let Isabel Gowan get a fast break layup. So we got 3.11 left to go here in the first half. Hazen on top, 23 to seven, and we got a timeout. Don't forget, you're watching, you can watch this game, you're watching HCTV on channel 1080 or www.hctv.us. And we're sponsored by Buffalo Mountain Power Sports and Green Mountain Technology and Career Center. Now our girls come in here at seven and one. They're ranked number two in division three behind Winooski. I mean, uh, behind uh, Windsor. And right on their heels are Peoples at nine and two and Thetford at six and two. Windsor is eight and two and at number one, Hazen seven and one. So it's gonna be tight. There's gonna be a lot of jockeying for the first four playoffs. And of course, you know, if you uh, go into the playoffs and you are seated in the top four, you have your first two games. If you win your first one, your next one's also at home. So every game is important from here on in. So it's going to be Hazen's ball out of bounds. Gowan's going to inbound it to Davison. They get it to the foul line to, Dave, to Julia. Oh, nice, nice. Julia the girls here. Nice bounce pass to Isabel Gowan. Laid it right off the glass on a little give and go. Must have been a set play out of the timeout by Randy Lumsden. Gowan, who is extremely quick. Shot in the corner there from Winooski by Muthe too. Here comes Hazen, they get it over to Gowan, flying down the court, she's gonna go, oh, bounce pass to Julia. Wow, two freshmen, Isabel Gowan to Julia de Grosliere, up over the rim right in, 27-7, your Lady Wildcats on top. Collier gets a hand on it, steals it. Christensen, Davison stops, puts it up, pops, no good, rebound on the floor. Isabel Gowan picks it up, no good. Rebound fought for, controlled by, controlled by Winooski. And here goes Natalia Stewart. Oh. We got a whistle and we got a player down. I believe that's Natalia Stewart. Feet went out from underneath her. I think she slipped. Coach is going to go out. Boy, we don't like to see that. Don't like to see anybody get hurt. So I don't know if there's a call on the floor. If there's a foul or she just slipped. I don't even know whose ball it is. Nothing from the officials yet. But the official's standing over there with a the ball in the corner. So somebody's going to inbound it. Don't forget the next game right here at Hazen is... Oh, yep, she's up. She's limping a little bit, but she's putting weight on both ankles, so that's good. So, that's, so she didn't roll an ankle, and that's good. As I was starting to say, the next game is right here Monday night against the Linden Institute Vikings. So it's going to be Winooski's ball. And Stuart McIver is going to inbound it. Hazen playing man-to-man -man now. They get it inside to Faith White. She turns around, puts it up. No good. Rebound in there by Alexis Christensen. She comes flying out of the pack. Gets it down the sideline to Davison. Davison over to Collier. Collier spots up, shoots off the rim. Rebound fought for. Out of, ba oh, out of bounds off of uh, Winooski. Julia DeGrosier almost had that rebound. Tess Luther coming in for Caitlin Davison. So Isabel Gowan to inbound it. Got to get it in. Over there to Collier. Collier over here to Luther. Luther looking. Drives right to the baseline. Stops. Back out on top to Collier. 
Cross court to Christensen. Christensen looks deep in the corner to Luther. Luther fakes, drives. Oh, nice. Puts it inside to Julia DeGrosier. Beautiful set play by Hazen. Against Winooski zone, makes it 29 to seven. Minute 40 left to go here in the first half. Hazen all over Winooski. And we got a foul on Isabel Gowan on the press. Little freshman mistake there. Got to be aware because they almost were going to get a 10 second call. In the game now, we have Bailey Christensen and Sadie Skorstad. Bailey Christensen, a sophomore, Skorstad, a junior. Here comes Winooski, number 10. That's Bridget Rogers. Stops, tries to get it up. She does to number 13, Emily Frigi. Shot inside there by Muthe too. Makes it 29 to seven. Here comes Christensen over to Sk Skorstad. Bailey Christensen, Skorstad in the corner. Back to Bailey Christensen. Alexis spotted up, almost took the shot. Back to Tessa Luther. Christensen in the corner, looking, nothing. Hazen moving the ball well, getting the defense to move. Bailey Christensen. Luther to Al Alexis Christensen, puts up a three shot, and it's good. Oh, they give her just a two. Makes it 31 to nine. Here comes Winooski, Faith White loses it. Rattled around there, picked up by Bailey Christensen, hands it to her sister. Gives it to Tessa. Luther drives baseline, stops. Julia DeGrosier. there. Christensen to Christensen, Skorstad to Bailey Christensen to Alexis. Oh, she can take that shot. Hazen moving the ball well. Skorstad, Bailey Christensen, Alexis. Alexis not even looking to shoot hardly. She's wide open out on top there. She just nailed one. Must be she likes that corner. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, she likes that corner. Alexis Christensen, that one was a three ball. Makes it 34 to nine. Oh, and she traveled on the press. That is uh, Faith White. So Hazen's pressure still taking a toll here. So Hazen's going to inbound it, looking for a quick hoop here with 20 seconds left to go in the first half. Christensen, Luther, spots up. Gets it inside the girls here, out on top. Bailey Christensen, Skorstad, Alexis Christensen. Bailey, out on top to Luther. Recovers it, down to 10 seconds. Skorstad, Tessa Luther, spots up. Three-pointer, that one's good. So Tess Luther just before the quarter ends, and there's a buzzer. That's the end of the first half, and your Lady Wildcats putting on a little clinic both defensively and offensively as they lead the Winooski Spartans 37-9. I'm John Lucier, and I'll be back with the rest of the game right after halftime. Okay, we're just about ready for the second half to begin. minute and a half to go left before the buzzer goes off. This is John Lucier doing the broadcasting today, subbing for Lance Hall, who will be back for the next game. As the Hazen Union Lady Wildcats are entertaining the Winooski Spartans, and I don't think the Winooski Spartans are feeling very entertained right now as Hazen has a 37-9 to lead, showing why they're ranked number two in the state. They've dominated the boards. Their press has caused all kinds of turnovers, and even in the half court, they've caused a lot of turnovers. But Winooski, when they're left open, has hit some shots. As I said before, it's 37 to nine. Don't forget our sponsors, Buffalo Mountain Power Sports at 472-5522. We support Hazen Athletics and Green Mountain Technology and Career Center, GMTCC. Jumpstart your future. And their applications are now open for any GMTCC program. So if you've got a student that's interested, just give them a call. So the second half, I think the game well in hand for Hazen. We'll see what Coach Randy Lumsden has up his sleeve. I think he's going to want to work on a few things, try a few different plays, a little different defense maybe, work his bench in pretty good, create some depth. So let me see. He's got the starting lineup out there right now. Haley Mitchard, Tess Luther, Ella Gillespie, Caitlin Davison, and Alexis Christensen. And it's going to be Winooski's ball first. Hazen picking him up in a half court, man to man. <coughs> Stacy Trong inbounds it over here to Rogers. Rogers gets it over to Matea Stewart. Long lob pass to nobody. Tessa Luther got it. Hazen running down the sideline to Caitlin Davison. Davison stutter steps, goes right around. Oh, tried to feed Haley Mitchard coming down the middle, but it's picked off by Natalia Stewart. 
She brings it up court, guarded by Davison. Davison almost picked her there at the half court line, but she drives down the baseline, bounce pass it over there in the corner to Stacy Trong. Missed everything, picked off by Davison. Davison to Luther down the sideline, brings it back, back to Davison. Dribbles along the baseline, going to do the reverse layup, puts it up over, oh, couldn't get it quite to go, puts it up left hand, and that thing rolled across the rim. And Haley Mitchard puts it up, and she gets hit. So a good little stutter step there by Caitlin Davison with a reverse layup. Couldn't get it to go, but Haley Mitchard picked it off and really got hit from behind. She's going to go to the line to shoot, too. Haley, a senior. First one's on its way, rolls off the rim. No good. Haley started off strong in the first quarter, got Hazen rolling, scored eight of the first ten points down underneath and rebounded. Second one's on its way. Now one's short off the front rim, rebounded by Stewart McIver. For Winooski, gets it up to Stewart. Stewart, left-handed. Stop, comes back right. Picks up a dribble. Whoa, long shot there. No good by Stewart McIver. But the rebound by Winooski, Stacy Trong. She couldn't get it to go. Here comes Davison. Davison down the sideline. Puts on the burners a little bit. Brings it back. Out on top. Gillespie over here to Luther. Winooski playing man-to-man -man right now. Christensen to Mitchard back over now. Tess Luther's got it. She goes to the baseline, stops, comes back out. Oh, nice pass inside to Christensen. Put it up, no good. But there's Haley Mitchard with a weak side rebound. Puts it in with her left hand. And Haley Mitchard starting the second half off just like she did the first half. Stacy Trong puts up a floater off the glass. Front rims it, no good. Rebound inside there, controlled by Winooski. Back out on top, Faith White. This is over to Natea Stewart. Guarded by Davison, she brings it back out. Oh, picked off there by Gillespie. Hit the referee. Oh, called the travel. Now, actually, the referee was standing out of bounds, and the ball hit him out of bounds, so the last player that touched it should have lost the ball. They get it inside. Matea Stewart loses the ball, picked off by Tessa Luther. Oh, to Davison, a little bounce pass to... Christensen, oh, she couldn't get the layup to go. Rebound by Davison over the back. The referee almost called it, but decided not to. Out on top to Gillespie. There's Luther. Christensen, oh, and to Mitchard, wide open. Left-handed layup, she can't get it. She gets her own rebound, puts that up high. No good. A little bit too far under, but she was wide open. Just underway here in the third quarter. Hazen on top by 20, 39 to 9. Ah, excuse me, by 30, 39 to 9. Winooski struggling to find some offense here. They get it out on top. That's Jean Heinz in the corner to Stuart McIver. She puts it up, no good. Nice box out by Mitchard. She corrals it, gets it to Davison. Davison looks up quickly to Christensen. Drives inside the three-point line, hits Gillespie out on top. Luther fakes, oh. Back to Gillespie, drives baseline into Mitchard. Mitchard stops, backs out on top to Christensen. Christensen, Davison, three-pointer, and it's good. Nice ball movement by Hazen. Hazen. Hazen showing some good unselfishness today. Really moving the ball. Here comes Winooski. That's Stewart. Dribbles it off a leg, but recaptures it. Drives down the middle. Over to Trong. Trong puts it up. No good. Rebound in there by Stewart. That's no good. Rebound by Haley Mitchard. Here comes Davison. Quickly up court to Luther. Luther going in. Oh, nice pass back to Christian. Stops. Little baseline jumper. Can't get it to go. Rebound by Winooski. That's Jean Heinz with a rebound, and she gets it over to Stewart. Natalia Stewart gets it to Trong. Oh, Kaitlyn Davison knocked it loose. Couldn't quite get it for it. Went out of bounds, and it'll be Winooski's ball. So we got subs coming in for Winooski, Ashlyn Paris, and Faith White. 42-9. Hazen on top. Bounce pass inside to Stewart. Knocked out of bounds by Haley Mitchard. Good defense. So it'll be Winooski's ball. Winooski to inbound it. And it'll be Stuart McGyver. Sanai Stuart McGyver. Gets it inside to Faith White. Faith pivots, gets it back to Stuart McGyver. She stops. She's looking. Can't get it. Oh, underneath wide open is Gene Hines. Oh, partially blocked by Gillespie. Rebound fought for. Oh, Gillespie takes it right out of Hines' hands. Gets it over here to Davison. Oh, they're leaving her alone. Davison drives right down through by him, lays it up, and it's good. Caitlin Davison makes it 44 to 9. Halfway through the third quarter here. 
Plays in, in a little half court man to man. No pressure. Oh, picked by Lexus Christensen. Knocked out of bounds zone. It'll be Winooski's ball. Oh, we got a sub coming in. This will be Isabel Gowan, a freshman. And she comes in for Ella Gillespie. Gowan, probably the quickest player on the team. Winooski inbounds it. They get it inside to Stuart McGyver. Back out. She's going to shoot up a three-pointer. No good. Rebound knocked around by Luther, but recovered by Christensen. Christensen coming up court. Long pass to Isabel Gowan. Back out to Christensen. Over to Luther. Luther drives. Davison, long three ball. Off the rim. No good. Rebound fought for. Knocked out of bounds by Haley Mitchard. She was jockeying. Oh, no. They're going to give it to her. Wow, that definitely probably should have been Winooski's ball. Out on top, Tess Luther spots up. No good, back rim's a three ball. Rebound by Winooski though, no harm done. And here comes Ashlyn Paris, stops, steps back out. Out on top, Faith White, she's gonna shoot up a three pointer, misses everything and rolls out of bounds. She did have an open shot. Now here comes Tess Luther. Gets it into Julia DeGroze there now in the game. Luther puts it up. Oh, a little running hook shot off the glass. Lays it in, and she's going to go to the foul line to try to complete the natural three-point play here. Tess Luther, just a junior. She'll be back next year. Free throws on the way, back rim, bounce around, and oh, rattles out. Rebound fought for, controlled by Winooski. Sinai Stewart McIver. Oh, gets it up to, uh, tried to get it up to Ashland Paris, but recovered by, here comes Gowan for Hazen, steps it back out. Davison fakes, stops, gets it out on top. Luther fakes, over to Christensen. Long three ball, no good. Rebound, oh, knocked around by, almost recovered by Julia DeGroves there. Here comes Ashlyn Paris flying down the court. She's going to go baseline, puts up a floater, no good. It was a good little drive, but couldn't convert. Here comes Davison down the left sideline. Stop, stutters to the middle. Back out on top, Luther, three-pointer, no good. Rebound by Ashlyn Paris for Winooski. And knocked out of bounds by Davison. Davison is known... Fire and wide for her offense because she scores a lot of points. But boy, when you watch her play on the court, you realize how much she rebounds, how much defense she plays. She is all over the court. She just hustles every minute. She just wants to beat you. She's out on top guarding Natea Stewart. Goes left, puts up a floater off the glass. No good rebound. Oh, blocked by Christensen. Christensen picks it off, comes up the right sideline, brings it back to the middle now, looking to find somebody open. There's Luther. Luther to, McGow uh, to Gowan. Inside to Julia. Stops. Oh! She had a shot right off the bat, but she wasn't quite sure. She got called for a travel inside. But again, just a freshman. So here comes Ashlyn Paris for Winooski. Walking it up court. Inside. That's to Hines, hands it off to Ashlyn Paris, puts it up. Oh, and it's good. Oh, and they call her for an offensive charge. That was a nice move. That was an offensive charge. That's her third foul. That's too bad. That was a pretty good move, but it was good defense in there. Here comes Davison right down the lane, puts it up. No, oh, we call it before the shot, but it was a nice little running layup off the glass by Caitlin Davison. You can tell Winooski's getting a little tired right now, having fought that press the first half and trying to slow Hazen's fast breakdown. Hazen being able to penetrate quite a bit now. They get it to Davison, Luther, Gowan, Alexis Christensen, bang! Boy, the ball never touched the floor till it went through the net. That is called teamwork. 
Lady Cats looking good here. Starting to hit their shots now pretty consistently. 49 to 9. The Lady Wildcats up by 40. Ooh, nice shot there by Faith White, but it didn't go. And it's going to be foul on Winooski. That foul is on Bridget Rogers, her second. 114 left to go here in the third quarter. Hazen on top, 49 to 9. That was Winooski's fifth team foul. Hazen has none yet. There's a screen. Davison right down the middle, stops, puts it up. Boy. That foul on Winooski. That foul is on Jean Heinz. And that is her fourth. And Winooski six. So the next Winooski foul. And Hazen will be shooting one and one the rest of the game. Caitlin Davison, junior for Hazen. Puts it up. First one's good. Second one's up and good, 51 to nine. As we wind down the third quarter here, about a minute to go. Here comes Winooski, Mateus Stewart. Guarded by Caitlin Davison. Oop, tried to get over here to Stacy Trong, but threw it out of bounds. So it'll be Hazen's ball. Tessa Luther gonna inbound it. Get it into Caitlin Davison. Caitlin's just walking it up. Winooski in a man-to-man. -man. Gowan, Christensen. Back out to Gowan, out on top to Davison. Davison drives the lane, jump stop, puts it up left hand, and it's good. Here comes Winooski. Ashlyn Paris bringing it up. Wants to drive down the lane, she does. Puts up a floater, no good. Rebound inside, strong rebound by Davison. Brings it out of the pack. Gets it to Christensen inside to Julia. The girls are there, lays it in. Winooski coming back quickly. This is Natalia Stewart. And it goes out of bounds off of Davison. It'll be Winooski's ball with eight and a half seconds left to go. We got a sub. Emily Frigi comes in for Stacy Trong. Go picked off by Davison. Davison goes in for the layup. No good. Rebound by Luther. Christensen with a shot at the buzzer. No good. It rolls off the rim. But that's the end of the third quarter with the score. Your Lady Wildcats 55. The Winooski Spartan 9. Again, I'm John Lucier, and you're watching this game on HCTV Channel 1080. Or you can stream it at www.hctv.us. We are sponsored today by... Buffalo Mountain Power Sports at 472-5522. We support Hazen Athletics and Green Mountain Technology and Career Center, GMTCC. Jumpstart your future. And again, applications are now open for any of the GMTCC programs. I want to remind you that Monday night, the boys will be playing here against the Linden Institute Vikings in what should be a fairly good game. Linden Institute's a division up, I believe. So we'll see what happens there. And I also want to remind everybody about the Knights of Columbus going to have their free throw contests again this year, January 29th here at Hazen for boys and girls ages 9 through 14, 1 o'clock in the afternoon. Shooting will begin. If you need any information or anything, give me a call at 802-371-7403. So we start the fourth quarter. Hazen with a huge lead. They get the ball first. Now we've got Sarah Collier, Alexis Christensen, Haley Mitchard, Bailey Christensen, and Isabel Gowan in the lineup to start. So Randy Lumsden kind of emptying his bench out. Mixture of veterans and young players. Alexis Christensen, Sarah Collier, oh, drives baseline. Nice move, but brings it back out. She was shut off. Gets it over here to Bailey Christensen. Isabel Gowan drives the... Lane, back out on top, Collier, Winooski, playing a man-to-man -man defense. Gowan to Alexis Christensen, puts it up, no good, but she drew the foul. So almost a minute off the clock by Hazen. 
Yeah. And they draw the foul, and that's going to put Alexis Christensen, one of the seniors on the team. Hayes in a very young team with only three seniors. And if you had a chance to see their JV team, their JD, JV team is loaded. Christensen first one's good. They actually have a couple eighth graders that I know of that are playing on the JV. So I'll tell you, the future for Hayes and Lady Wildcat basketball looks very good for the next few years. We could have a good run here for five or six years. Christensen puts the second one up, and that one's good. 57-9, Lady Wildcats on top. Here comes Winooski. Matea Stewart, guarded by Gowan. Oh, tries to go underneath. She tried to hit Ashlyn Paris, but it was way over her head. So here comes Alexis Christensen to Gowan. Gowan just holding the ball, looking on top to Collier. Collier over to Bailey Christensen to her sister, Alexis. Haley Mitchard posting up. Gowan penetrates back outside. Christensen, Collier, the other Christensen. <laughs> Gowan drives left, stops, tries to put it up, but hits Alexis Christensen, picks it out. Haley Mitchard with a rebound and can't get it to go. Mitchard with another rebound, has it blocked. So Hazen getting their opportunities. So it's going to be, it's going to be Hazen's ball. Gowan to inbound it. Hazen setting up a play. Here comes Christensen for the three. Attempt is up and no good. Here comes Paris for Winooski. Baseball pass underneath. Oh, we got a whistle and a jump ball as Albina Ray got tied up. No, that's number 13. Excuse me, Emily Frigia. In the game now is Sanai Stewart McIver. Winooski sets up the play. Here they come. Oh, inbound pass underneath. Oh, couldn't get it to go. Winooski hasn't scored a point in the second half yet. Re fast break pass up to Sarah Collier. She loses control of it, bounces off of her, goes out of bounds. It'll be Winooski ball. So Winooski looking for its first basket, I believe, in this half. They go back door. Oh, they had a nice little play there, but the girl couldn't control it. Throws it away. Picked off by Gowan. Gowan looking to break. She doesn't have numbers. Let's see what she does. Freshman brings it back out. Good, good basketball sense right there by the freshman. Collier in the corner. Ooh. They get it into Haley Mitchard. Haley brings it back out. Didn't have a good angle. Looking to slow it down. There it goes to Gowan. Drives down. Lays it up. No good. Rebound by Paris of Winooski. Brings it up herself. Gets it over in the corner to Gene Hines. Oh, they hit. They try to hit. Frigia. Long shot there. No good by Paris. Rebounded. Here comes Isabel Gowan. Oh, she drives. Oh, and there's a reach. Nice drive. But they're going to call it on the floor. Nice drive by Gowan as she went to the hole. That's Winooski's seventh team foul. Hazen without a foul yet here in the second half. Here comes Caitlin Davison back in the game. Gowan bounces, bounces, no good. Rebound by Caitlin Davison. She lays it up, and that's good. And another foul on Winooski. Score 59 to 9 with 536 left to go here in the fourth quarter. Caitlin Davison, junior, to go to the line. It's up, no good. Rebound by Stuart MacGyver of Winooski, and she's gonna bring it up. Dribbles up, guarded by Haley Mitchard, picks up the ball. <clears throat> Throws it over here to Gene Heinz. Back out on top to Paris. Paris stop. Heinz. Stewart MacGyver. No good. Rebound inside. Oh, put up. No good. That shot by <coughs> Bridget Rogers. Picked off by Davison. Here she comes. Gets it over here. MacGyver is going to spot. Ah, oh, MacGyver. Gowan is going to spot up and shoot it. Rebound by Winooski. They bring it up over half court. Oh, picked off by Davison. Davis is going to go in for the left-handed layup and missed it. Oh, wide open and missed it. 
She gets it over to Gowan, and she is sandwiched. So she's going to go to the line, Isabel Gowan. She's a freshman. That's Winooski's 10th foul. So Winooski with 10 fouls, that means Hazen's going to be shooting two for the rest of the game. Gowan, first one is no good. Gowan with her second attempt. And it's good. Into the game now we have um, Sadie Skorstad. <clears throat> Here comes Winooski. They get it over to Hines, but picked off by Davison. Davison brings it up herself. Gets it over to Skorstad. Oh, and Skorstad traveled. Got her feet tangled up a little bit. Was a little off balance when she caught it. So it's going to be Winooski's ball. Trailing 60 to 9 here at Hazen. Here comes Ashlyn Paris. Guarded by Bailey. Oh, gonna go right down the lane and put it up and got it to go. 60 to 11. Nice drive there by Ashlyn Paris off the glass. Oh, they try to go into Haley Mitchard. It's out of bounds and it's off Winooski. So Hayes is going to inbound it. Sarah Collier will inbound it. Sarah looking, gets it into Haley Mitchell. Tried to, and it's knocked out of bounds by Winooski. They'll try it again. <laughs> Haley Mitchell coming out. Replaced by Julia DeGrosley, freshman, who's had a strong game today inside. Collier to inbound it, gets it into Davison quickly. Davison spots up with a three-pointer, rolls around, no good. Rebound fought for. Davison followed it and laid it in. So here comes Winooski trailing 62 to 11, under four minutes to go here. Stacy Trong. Ooh. Gets it over here to number 13, Emily Frigia. Frigia's gonna go in, stop, put it up, and oh, couldn't get it to go. Rebound fought for. And Winooski controls it. Oh, and there. <laughs> Winooski fans are cheering. There's a first foul called on Hazen in the half. <laughs> so Winooski's going to inbound it underneath their own basket. They get it inside. There's a jump ball as Bailey Christensen tied up <coughs> uh, Stacy Strong. <laughs> Davison over to Collier. <coughs> Bailey Christensen to score stat. Davison to Collier. Oop. Oh. That was Bailey Christensen taking the drive. Gets fouled from behind. She'll go to the line shoot too. First one's up, no good. In the game now is Isabel Gowan, replacing Caitlin Davison. So on the court now we have Gowan to Grosliere, Bailey Christensen, Skorstad, and Collier. Not a senior on the floor. And here comes Winooski. Mateo Stewart in the corner. Oh, knocked out of bounds by McGowan. I'm, I'm a, I call her McGowan all the time. It's Gowan. Isabel Gowan. Probably the quickest player on Hazen's team by far. <coughs> oh, there's shot there. Up, oh, no good. That shot by Faith White. Or, uh, excuse me, that was by Gene Hines. They get it out on top, Stacy Trong underneath. Oh, nice move. Oh, Winooski couldn't get that to go. Nice movement, shot was missed there. Here comes Gowan, Collier. 
to Skorstad. Inside to Julia DeGroslier, out on top to Bailey Christensen. Skorstad, Gowan, Hazen just looking to move it, take some time off the clock. Skorstad goes baseline and a reach in and a foul. So junior Sadie Skorstad will go to the free throw line to shoot two. Hazen already leading 63 to 11. 2.29 left to go here in the game. First one's up and short. <laughs> Second one is short. So it'll be Winooski's ball. Hazen retreating back, half court defense, just playing a little solid man to man. Here comes Natalia Stewart for Winooski. Gets it over here to Stacy Trong. She comes left. Oops, forgot the ball. Stacy Trong goes down the lane. She's going to load up a little floater, and it's good. Stacy Trong. Here comes Gowan. Over there to Skorstad. They go try to go inside to the girls' ears. Knocked away. Recovered by Skorstad. Comes left. Gets it back out. On top to Collier. Collier's going to drive down the lane. She's shut off. Pivots. Back out to Gowan, goes left, lays it up, and it's good. Good ball movement by the younger members of the team. Resulted in a layup by Gowan. Inside they go to Gene Hines. Oh, no good, and there's a foul. That foul on Julia DeGroes there. That's going to put Gene Hines on the line for Winooski. First one's up, and it's good. In the game now is Albina Ray. <clears throat> Second one behind, it rolls around, and that's good. She made them both. 65-15, Lady Cats on top of this one. Here comes Gowan. Comes left. Over to Skorstad. Back out on top to Bailey Christensen to Sarah Collier. Over to Gowan, bounces it into the girls here. Back out on top. Skorstad underneath the Collier. Collier goes right around, lays it up. That was no good. Rebound by the girls here, though. Oh, couldn't get it to rattle in. Rebound by Winooski. And here comes Stacy Trong for Winooski. Guarded out on top by Skorstad. Oh, lost possession of the ball. Here comes Gowan. Gowan's going to drive right down through and put it up. No good, but she is fouled. With less than a minute to go here, that'll put Isabel Gowan, freshman, to the line to shoot two. Nice strong move there by the freshman. First one's on its way, no good. Second one by Gowan, no good. Rolls around, rebound by Winooski. Here comes Muthe too. Runs into Collier, there's a scramble on the floor. Winooski recovers it, gets it back out to half court at Stacy Strong. Over here to Gene Hines, picks up her dribble back to Trong. Oh, they try to go inside and they do. That was to Emily Frigia, laid up, no good. Rebound, oh, controlled by Hines of Winooski. Back out on top, Frigia. Tries to go over here to Stacy Trong. <coughs> out of bounds and it'll be Hazen's ball with 25 seconds left to go in the game. Gowan bringing it up, comes right, gives it over here to Collier. Collier holds it at the top, drives left. Oh, she gets, t oh, she gets tied up. That'll be a jump ball, and it'll be Winooski's ball with 11 seconds to go.
Here comes Winooski looking for the last shot. This is Stacy Trong. They go underneath the hind. She puts it up. No good. Rebound blocked. Blocked by Julie DeGrosley. And there's the buzzer. And that ends the game. The final score, the Hazen Union Lady Wildcats 65. The Winooski Spartans 15. This is John Lucier saying so long. I hope you enjoyed the game. We'll see you here Monday night when the Varsity Boys take on Linden Institute. And again, I want to thank our sponsors, Buffalo Mountain Power Sports and Green Mountain Technology and Career Center. Again, thank you and see you Monday night.